Metropolitan Manila Development Authority started its quake drill Saturday at the time the first quake struck Batanes. The Metro Manila Shake Drill is an annual exercise to prepare, assess, and strengthen Metro Manila in responding to the big one. This metro-wide campaign is an effort for disaster preparedness and response on the occurrence of an earthquake. The Metro Manila Development Authority, the lead agency of the region's Disaster Risk Reduction Council, conducted several preparatory meetings with the local government units, response clusters, diplomats, the private sector, and other stakeholders as preparation for the event. Through the leadership of Chairman Danilo de la Puzlim, MMDA coordinated and collaborated with the agencies and sectors to implement the drill. The objectives of the drill are the following. To be able to conduct a nighttime drill with nighttime scenarios and injects that the MMDA, 17 LGUs, and response cluster can test its earthquake preparedness and response capabilities. To solicit and mobilize the support of MM17 LGUs for the shake drill either collectively or individually. To make MMSD 2019 all-inclusive and enhance the role of the response cluster, private sector, utility sector, non-government organizations, and others. To further raise the awareness and sense of preparedness among MM residents on the threat of the big one. Interviews were conducted for information dissemination and to encourage everyone to join the night drill. Which is to prepare Metro Manila for any disaster, calamity, or any emergency. You know. On July 27, 2019, Saturday, at exactly 4 a.m. before the break of dawn, Metro Manila was rocked by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. The scenario was held with the assumption of an intensity 8 ground shaking due to the movement of the West Valley Fault, causing major damages across Metro Manila. Upon the activation of the Oplan Metro Yakal Plus, Deployment commenced immediately according to Metro Manila's contingency plan. In a makeshift emergency operations center at the MMDA office, the response clusters were briefed of the incidents all over Metro Manila. Chairman Lim was joined by the following agencies and sectors of the metropolis who reported the respective augmentation of personnel and mobilization of equipment as response to the earthquake. Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology Philippine Disaster Resilience Foundation Philippine Information Authority Department of Health Department of Public Works and Highways Bureau of Fire Protection Office of Civil Defense, National Capital Region National Capital Region Police Office Joint Task Force, National Capital Region Meralco, Maynilad and Manila Water Smart Communications and Globe Telecom The strong ground shaking resulted to the regional separation of Metro Manila to four quadrants due to the collapse of buildings and bridges connecting them. The four quadrants set up their incident command posts at their respective staging areas. The East Quadrant at the LRT2 Santolan Station Depot covering Pasig and Marikina City. The North Quadrant at the Veterans Memorial Medical Center for Caloocan, Valenzuela, San Juan, Mandaluyong, and Quezon City. The West Quadrant at the Intramuros Golf Course, housing Manila, Malabon, and Davota City. And the South Quadrant at the Villamor Golf Course for Las Piñas, Makati, Muntinlupa, Paranaque, Taguig, and Pasay City, 
and the municipality of Pateros. In the East Quadrant incident site at Pasig Royal Mansion, some of the simulated scenarios were mass evacuation, injured victims, and rescue operations. High-angle rescue operations and the fire suppression simulations were conducted. Responders for the incidents include the local DRRMOs under the leadership and supervision of Pasig City Mayor Vico Soto and Marikina City Mayor Marcelino Teodoro. Uh, dahil first time po ito na magkaroon ng joint exercise ang uh, Marikina at Pasig City. In the UP Technohub in Quezon City, the North Quadrant staged rescue operations of injured persons, fire incidents, and high-angle rescue at the Point West building and looting incidents. Mayor Joy Belmonte supervised the responders of the Quezon City DRRMO. In the West Quadrant, high-angle rescue operations were executed at the Republic Supermarket. A fire suppression incident at Limar Ben Building, mass evacuation and rescue operations were simulated. In South Quadrant's Pasay City, guests of Midas Hotel performed the duck, cover and hold and evacuated the hotel a few seconds after the shaking stopped. Other scenarios include search and rescue of victims, high-angle rescue, and vehicular fire suppression. Pasay City Mayor Emi Calixto Rubiano supervised the simulation of the earthquake scenarios. Communication agad para makakuha ka agad ng uh, initial report. Ang pagka mayroong mga disaster or kalamidad na nangyayari, ito po ay talagang matutugunan sa pagtutulungan ng mga magkakapitbahay. At the respective staging areas, the quadrants established their respective incident command system facilities such as registration, food and relief, communications, planning, logistics, operations, evacuation, and medical response. Different resources from the response clusters check in at their respective quadrants. Other activities in the staging areas include the demonstration of water filtration system and basic life support and first aid treatment trainings. For a day, people in Metro Manila witnessed what it would be like if we are hit by the big one. It was widely covered by radio and television networks. Hashtag MM Shake Drill became one of the trending topics of the day. Nang LGU, ng mga volunteer groups, LGU down to barangay level, yung mga gamit na nasa kanila, magaganda, very impressive, tayo ay natutuwa. The Metro Manila Shake Drill was considered a success through the overwhelming support of the various sectors of the metropolis. The drill emphasized the significance of the effective coordination and collaboration of all the sectors of the metropolis that can withstand any calamity, no matter how strong or how many. No one can predict when an earthquake can occur, but the chances of survival are higher when people are prepared.